All right, so we're gonna put the lead reels on today. They are gonna go right here. This is where they were gonna go. You see the holes I drilled. I'm gonna move it over about six inches. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. The acetylene tank's actually gonna go right here, so. I have 250 feet of brand new number one lead. It's not one ot. it's number one, a little thinner, but I got it on Marketplace for, damn, I don't even remember, but it was like about half the cost if I were to buy it new, and it's 250 feet. So the plan is to make two 75-foot um, spools, one for the ground, one for the uh, positive, and then I'll have, that's 150, I'll have 100 feet left, so I might be able to make two 50 footers possibly 100 footer i can leave on the truck for long distances i also have two 50 foot one knots um that i have left over from when i had lead that i'll keep on the truck but i want two 75 foot uh leads on the lead reel ground and positive so we're going to start by doing that and willow is going to hang out and inspect right you like the sun don't you all right let's go all right, we got that mounted with the assist of some tools. Um, this is the pivoting one, so it can, well, let me just show you. I just tightened it, but these are diamond, diamond lead reels. Um, I kind of forget how much they were, but I'm gonna say in the three to $400 range, they can hold up to like a hundred feet of one odd or two, two wire or something like that but it can rotate, I can even have it kind of rotated like that on a little angle, but most likely it'll stay like this for most of its life. If I ever need to get right here, I can just boop, do that, get access to here, which might not happen ever. But now the goal or the next thing is I need to get a lead from here and they have these uh, lugs that you uh, put lugs on and then you bolt your lead right there so i gotta make some or, uh, make some lead i got a lug primper and uh we'll do that all right so you got the uh quick connect lenko i don't even know what these things are called but they were on here obviously so i'm actually going to keep these on here so here's the lugs that are going to go i'm going to have probably like an 18 inch lead that'll hook up to each lug from each side but I will end up putting these back on for the sole fact that I'm going to keep two 50, foot, um, two 50 foot leads on the truck with these quick fittings. And if I don't want to use the lead reel, I can just plug them into this, which is kind of, it's nice because I have a 20 foot ground I can use. If I'm working really close to the truck, I'm not going to unroll the reels. So I can just hook up a, a long stinger and this to just the welder instead of un unraveling these so that's kind of the gist of what i'm going for but i am going to clean all these up put some dielectric grease on them just make sure i have a really good connection for the leaf this needs to get cleaned up as well I believe these are brass. Not sure if I'm going to put that on first. Actually, that'll work out pretty well. I'm going to put these on first and then put the nut. Kind of like that. Squish it all together. Gonna get a lead, heat shrink that, and uh, be on our way here. All right. Got that on there. I got some good uh, heat shrink on. Goes right here. Put red for positive. Hot, red, positive. So let's uh, make the ground. Delivery. Little sneak peek of uh, something I purchased. All right. Get a little bit cut off of here. If you guys never made your own leads, it's definitely the way to go. Normally, then you would put this in one of the quick connects, um, but the fact I'm using lugs to hook this up. We'll 
touch up the electric on there. Spin it on, get that grease kind of worked in there. Cut the insulation a little too much, but that's all right. That's what the heat shrink is for. All right. Got this cheap wire crimper from Amazon. And when I say cheap, I mean cheap. It's, uh, it does the job, but not great. Okay. All right. The pole is pretty solid. Get a little heat shrink on there. It's the glue. I like the heat shrink with the glue inside of it. Makes it a, a really good seal. So, so then this will go on here. Oh, maybe oh, there it goes. This will go on here, and then this will go up here, and we'll be good. All right, got this on, bolted on. Now it's time to uh, spool up the reels. All right. You can see my little setup here. This uh, Flexaprene, this is what this wire is. It's Flexaprene, like I said, I picked it up uh, on Marketplace. And I've cut a couple couple pieces off to make that test pieces. And I want 75 feet of each on here. It actually is numbered. It has on here 246, 245, 244. So I'll just take 246 minus 75. And once I get to whatever that number is, I know I got 75 feet. That's pretty sick. I never knew that. So that's going to make my life a lot easier. Alright, so the magic number is 171. One seventy one. There it is. That's what seventy five feet of number one cable looks like on this reel. So let's uh, do the top one.
All right, there it is. I just went with an even 70 on the top. Leave me with exactly 100 feet left, so I don't think the five feet will kill me. Like I said, I have 20 foot and 50 foot extra leads if I ever need them, so that's, uh, that's a wrap on that. I need quick connects. I'm not going to put a stinger and a ground on here, just like I said, if I ever need a longer, longer than this, then uh, I can put my quick, quick, uh, quick connect, dents, whatever you want to call them, Lenko things, so I have to get those. I have some. I'd like to get a red one for the positive, and I think I have a black one for the negative. Let's go take a look. We got the welding card all situated. Uh, let's see, yeah. Okay, so I have a male and a female. So, all right, I do have a, this one, new one it looks like. So I'll put that one on the negative. All right, let's do this. If you guys never put these on before, they're pretty easy. Literally, I've done this lots and lots of times. Just don't forget to put this on first. That'll go on like that. Then you get your lug and we put a little grease in there. Never actually put grease in it before, but can't hurt, right? Now, this probably isn't the right size, but it'll do just fine. I have actually an Allen key that fits these, and I just marked it for stingers, so I keep it separate from my other Allen keys. Let's see. Yeah. Beautiful. You can just slide this over, and then it has this tiny little flathead screw that you shove in here. Maybe. Uh, hold on. Get this thing lined up a little better. There you go. Take your flathead. And you just set it down. What this one does is it keeps this. Uh, insulator from sliding on and off just like that so now we have a quick connect hanging right there uh i'm gonna try to maybe figure something out to lock these in this one's like kind of just flying all flopping all over so maybe once i get a quick connect on there it'll not but like i said i'm gonna get a red one this is the positive this will be my negative it looks like i spooled them up that one looks a lot better than that one i could always redo it but whatever it's on there it's all that matters so i'll clean this up i'll probably end uh for today and what i'm going to work on next is mounting the bottles and then this thing once the bottles are on this thing's pretty much done. A little odds and ends. I have a new exhaust system for it, but that's not going to include any of that. So let me clean up and we'll get to the next one with the bottles.